So it is analysis of field trial using the alpha lattice design. To conduct alpha lattice design analysis in our studio, we need to install AgriColor package. To install AgriColor package, use the command install.packages followed by the name AgriColor. Then we need to load the package using the library function. The default command line for alpha lattice design analysis is pbib.test, the block, treatment, replication, y, k, followed by the method, whether we want to use reml, ml, or vc, and the test, the post hoc test that we want to use is whether it is lsd or 2 key, the alpha value that we choose console and group our eml is the restricted maximum likelihood ml is maximum likelihood vc is variance components block block is the block treatment is the genotype or treatment replication is the replication that we use in the design Y is the response variable or the traits that we want to analyze. K is the block size. Let's say you have 13 times 7. The block size is 7. We need to change the block treatment replication into factor before we can conduct the analysis. For example, my data name is AL data. Our EP is the replication, block is the block, gen is the treatment. In this example, I'll be using data that we can import from website or we can also import data set from Excel or from text. Okay, so Let's import data from website. This is the function that we use, which is the read.csv file equal to. This is the link of the data that we want to import from the website. And we click run again. So the data will be imported from the website. And you can see this is the AL data. Okay, to import data from Excel or text, we just go to here. Then we can choose whether to import data from text or from Excel. Let's say we want to import from Excel. Click from Excel. If you require to install package, please click yes. This is usually happen uh, if we just install the new R Studio into our laptop. So please wait for the packages to be installed. Then we get the import Excel data. Click browse here and go to the data so we have I have yet AL data in Excel format choose AL data and click open so you have the sample genotype block QTL classes environment replicate and also this is the trait that we want to analyze, the grain yield. You can change the name of the data. Just now we already imported the AL data from website. So uh, it is better to change the name to another name or we can just put one. Then click import. So you have imported the data into our studio. 
go back to the script. So after we import the data, we need to check the structure of the data. To check the structure of the data, we use the str function, clip run. Then you will get the structure of the data. It is a data frame consists of 182 observations of 7 variables. The first variable sample, genotype, block, q classes, environment, replicate and also the grain yield. You can also use the hit function. So we can see the data here. It is important for us to change the variables into factor. So we need to use the s.factor function. So what we need to do is to change the replicate block and genotype into factor. Okay, to write this, I will show you how to write this. Al data, the name of the data, followed by a dollar symbol, and we choose replicate. Then put the error here. It as dot factor. Choose. Then Al data, the dollar symbol, and replicate. Then click run. So you have changed the replicate into factor. And then you can change block and genotype into factor also. Click run and run again. So after we have changed into factor, we need to fit the data into the common. So the first one, we try to use the REML, the Restricted Maximum Likelihood. We specify the name of our result as AL1. We use the PBIB.test function, followed by AL data. Okay, AL data because it is the block, so we need to use the block. AL data, this is the treatment. AL data is this the replicate. AL data GY is the response variable. And this is the K. This is the block size 7. As I mentioned, the block size is 7 before. And method, we want to choose REML method. And the post hoc test that we want to choose is LSD. The alpha that we set is 0.05. Console, we set to true, and group, also we set to true. Let's run the line. Okay, there you go. You get the result. So we have the number of observation, the parameters, estimates, the analysis of variance table, the parameter, the efficiency factor of the alpha lattice design, and we have here the comparison test using LSD. So we have the grouping of the LSD here. Okay, let's say we want to change from LSD to 2 key. We just change the test here to 2 key. Also, if we want to use variance component, we can change the method here into variance component. Also, let's say if you have different number of block, just change the number of block here. Let's say you have 12 times 12 alpha lattice design. So 12 will be the number of the block. So it is the block size. So 12, you can change here to fit your own data. So you need to know how to uh, change the line to fit uh, your data set. I change back to 7. So let's take a look uh, the result after we change 
the method from RML to VC, valence component, and if we change the test to two key. So place here, then click run again. Okay. So what we get from variance component is we get the analysis of variance table. The coefficient of variation here, 11%. The means of grain yield. The efficiency factor and comparison using two key tests.